particular. But let's get to the last first impression. The last thing I have to talk about that I am incredibly excited about where a web page does not even exist for it. In fact, I know that the company that makes this is RNK, but I don't even know the name of this mod. So not on top. On top is just Matopper. This is just the Maramusa RDTA I have plugged on here. This is a, whoops, I messed up my airflow there. This is a 22 millimeter around, single 18650, unregulated, but kind of regulated. So there's, does anybody remember the Nivel chip? This Nivel chip has been around forever. The people that made the Nivel chip, they used the Nivel chip in, in the Svoimesto tube mod. Um, there was a box mod back in the day, like 2011, 2012, that had the Nivel chip in it. They are still making chips for devices. This has a tactile button right here. Do you see it lighting up? purple right there. That's because my battery isn't quite at 100%. When it's at 100%, it's blue, and then it fades down all the way to purple, and then it finally gets into red when your battery is dead. I'm going to go to the email that I got so I can read the information about this. Um, this came from Igor. Uh, he says, first of all, please excuse for my bad English. That's fine. We are a small two-man company of vaping enthusiasts from Russia named Nivel Team. My name is Igor. I'm responsible for engineering and manufacturing. We are representing our new mod named the RNK. Okay, so the name of the mod is the RNK from Team Nivel. It is a compact, unregulated mod with electronic communication and LED indication for one 18650 cell. Um, it's good up to 30 amps with over discharge protection, magnetic button, regulated 510 connector, full stainless steel, uh, all this in a dimension of 80 millimeters tall by 22 millimeters around. You may know Nivel by his variable wattage, variable voltage chip. He was also known outside Russia a few years ago and was used by Svoimesto. He is a developer of electronics for RNK now. Would you like to review our mod? Are there any requirements for this? So that's the information that I have on this. I think he did send me specs. I think he did send me specs. No, those are the only specs I have. So 30 amps, 22 millimeters around, it's unregulated. It has a adjustable 510 pin on it. Not a 510 pin, it's an adjustable 510 cap that actually works really, really well. It's telescoping a little bit in that I can take off this bottom part. And right now I just have a junky MXJO battery. So let's take that out and let's grab like a good Samsung 25R battery. Positive goes up and then the negative, you can see, you can't see, but I'm looking at it and it's tapered a little bit. And then I plug this bottom, so you know, this screws on, takes up some of that space, screw it on, nice and snug. Do you see it flash white there? Now if I press the button, it just flashes green. That means that it's locked. Oops, do you see that light show happen? Three clicks on, three clicks off. One, two, three. And it's off. And now when I press it, it's going to just flash green and nothing is going to happen. And then I do three more. One, two, three. And now it's back on. And now I can press the button and see it's nice and blue. I have a fully charged battery. So this is the Marmusa RDTA on top. I have that loaded up with Caramel Corps that we used in the, uh, you know, in the beer tasting segment. I... I, I've kind of fallen in love with this dumb little vape. All I have on here is a 0.19 dual, you know, Niachrome Anarchist wire. It's like a 10 wrap around a two and a half millimeter of 24 gauge uh, Niachrome Anarchist wire. It's an amazing vape. This is a really really good vape. There are electronics in here to prevent things like over discharge and going over your amp limits. If you go over the amp limit, it's just not going to fire and it's good to 30 amps. One of my favorite features of this, and it was really like I was surprised when it happened, it has force feedback in it. It vibrates. So you can use it and lock it and unlock it without even looking. So let's say you're driving your car and you're vaping. You can click it three times without even looking, one, two, three, and you'll feel it vibrate. It goes and gives you these little pulses. That's locked. And then when you unlock it, one, two, three, 
it does it in reverse. It gives you these little pulses. It goes, vit, 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 and you know that it's unlocked. Without even looking at it, you can lock it and unlock it. One, two, three. I'm gonna try to put this on the microphone. Can you hear this vibrating? Can you can you hear it? One, two, three. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it in the display. And now it's locked. So if I try to press the button, it gives me a little pulse. Like, it feels like the haptic engine on an iPhone. Like when you press the button or when you press the screen on your iPhone, you can feel that like little pulse, that little vibration. That's exactly what this feels like. When it's locked and you press the button, it'll flash green and it'll vibrate a little bit. And then you go, oh, it's locked. And I know that without even looking because I can see the green and I can feel the little pulse from the little, little you know, the little accelerometer or whatever in there. I don't remember what it's called. It used to be called a thing, but it's got the little force feedback motor in there. One, two, three, and now it's back on and I can vape it like normal. I have, uh, I have really fallen for this thing, man. I wish. I wish, wish, wish with all my wishes that it was 24 millimeters so that I could use a recoil on it. As it stands, it's 22 millimeters around, so I'm digging through 22 millimeter stuff. I happen to put this Maramusa on here, and it just looks so freaking cool. It just looks so freaking cool. So let me pop this Maramusa off here real fast. I'm gonna show you how, how the 510 pin adjusts. So on the top of the mod, there's a static 510. You see when I press the button, it has these bright as sun freaking LEDs. One, two, three. Now it's off. One, two, three. Uh, now it's back on. So you take this little disc right here and there's a little O-ring on the bottom of the disc and you take this little disc right here. It's a lot like the noisy cricket. You plug this on to your atomizer until your atomizer is sitting flush against this disc. And there's gonna be a little 510 right there and there's a little 510 right here. And then you screw this all together and you just keep adjusting it down until it's snug and so if you have an atomizer with an extra long 510 pin this is going to sit a, little, a lot higher and you're going to see a lot more of the led and if you have one with a more recessed 510 pin it's going to sit a lot lower and you're going to see a lot less of that led it's a brilliant design from top to bottom i almost cannot say enough good things about this. I've literally been using it for less than 24 hours and it's been nothing but amazing. I, I, I'm, I'm in love with this single 18650 unregulated device. It's just, it's just good. So yeah, that is the RNK from Team Nivel. Nivel Team in Russia. They don't have a website. I don't know where to buy this. I can't even link to anything in the description. I, I'm gonna reach out to them and see if they have like a Facebook group or like an Instagram page or something on social media where people can get this because people need to get this. People need to have this in their life. It's such a simple, straightforward, nice, stainless steel looking thing. If we're talking about price, I have no idea how much this is gonna cost. I could see paying up to like 90 or $100, maybe even a, over $100 for this tube. It's, it's really great. Um, a lot of people aren't gonna be stoked on that, you know, one, two, three, on this like lighty up sort of ring on there. I just, I think it looks super cool, super sci-fi. All the fit and finish on this, when you have a 22 millimeter tank or a 22 millimeter RDA, it just looks and feels so nice, so well put together. I've been loving it. I've been absolutely freaking loving it. 